in Lincoln. Good morning, sports fans. Welcome to the Cheap Seats on 96.3 FM. We're streaming on the web at WLCNOnline.com. Listen to us on the Mixler app. Download it from the App Store. Uh, you can also follow us on Twitter, Joe, at WLCN Sports. And we're on Facebook. Good morning, Scott Kirby, Joe Ryan, Lloyd Kirby, Jim Ash, and Jeff number two. Three, two, two. He's number two. <laughs> uh, we are at Stacy's Family Pharmacy located at 709 Woodlawn Road here in Lincoln. Uh, we're here till 10 o'clock and then Big Daddy Jim and Jeff number two and Lisa, the Fix 96 the prize girl, will take over from 11 to 1. Uh, they got great sales in the showroom along with super <clears throat> register win gifts to be awarded at 1. D delicious cake, Joe. Sandwiches <laughs> supplied by Lincoln IGA. Uh, I better get here while they last. It's Customer Appreciation Day, so that means gift bags. Uh, <laughs> is that funny? <laughs> Lloyd's funny. Lloyd's gift, funny. I guess gift bags are funny no, now. No, Lloyd is funny, so don't Lloyd, pay any attention. You yeah. go off what you're doing. He just sits over there and chuckles. I don't know what about. It's because he's got nothing to do and his mind wanders. Well, we do have a special guest this morning, our uh, our favorite officer, uh, right. Christy Frugge, Officer Frugge. Uh No, we're not playing another basketball game coming up uh, anytime soon. <laughs> that was you guys because from that? I'm oh, telling you yeah. right now, we should have won that. It thing. was a success. <laughs> Nobody walked out of there with any major injuries, no. just uh, some, feelings some soreness. Uh, some feelings were hurt, uh, but an well, all. Well, we may have won if Joe would have got out there and played. I called the perfect play I at the end of the it. game, and I but didn't you throw up an air ball or something? I mean, No. <laughs> I, I believe you did. Did I? Yeah. Oh, it, that's possible. I didn't want to say anything on the air, but you're not very good. <laughs> that's a give me. I, I'm not going to. Oh, was that live? Not not gonna, I feel tonight. bad for you guys. I have to live with one of those girls, so I got to hear all about <laughs> But you held your own. How good they were. I did. You did I hold did. your own, yeah. and there was no, I mean, I'm, I think you outscored your daughter. I, I know. know. I know you did. Well, regardless, we're going to say I that I did. You, I think you outscored everybody yeah. as far as we're concerned. But we have uh, some more fundraising coming up. Uh, this here, a little more up our alley. Uh, besides the age, we can't participate. <laughs> but you have a fishing derby coming up. I do. Next Saturday, um, it will be in Atlanta at Hickory Lane Campground from 9 in the morning till noon. Um, bring, have the kids bring their fishing poles. I supply the bait. The pond was just recently stocked, Ooh. so that's awesome. And then we give uh, $100 gift cards to the girl who catches the biggest fish, boy who catches the biggest fish, all kinds of fishing bowls, poles and tackle boxes we give away. So it's a really good time. All is free. Um, I make lunch for everybody. Wow. So, yes. Let's talk about lunch. What's in yeah. there? Hot dogs, chips, soda, you know. The typical the American thing. Yeah. yeah that's absolutely. Good. A good uh a good fishing lunch, you know. It's I thought you might serve fish sticks. What about yeah. those? <laughs> I, you know they're really hard to make on a grill. <laughs> <laughs> they probably don't stay together well. No. Have you been doing this uh event for a as while? As long as I can remember. Really? Um, so this has been something that's Yeah, we team up with uh the Nathan Turner family. Yep. Um he was a big fisherman, so yeah. they always come out and between all of them and me we we seem to get a really good crowd. The kids love it. So, uh, do you have EMTs out there? Because I'm thinking you got a bunch of kids out there with fishing poles, and at the <laughs> end of that line is a sharp hook. And you know, it's well, see, the goal is to put a fish on the end of that well, line, then you don't worry about the hook. A lot of times, it's a <laughs> finger or an eyelid or, or something. Well, know? the kids bring their parents <laughs> or grandparents or friends, aunts, uncles, whatever. So they usually have some help. They have so uh, that's yeah. and if it just got stocked, they're going to be catching fish. Yeah, that makes yeah. fishing fun when you catch it. Yeah, last year they caught a ton of fish. I think uh, one of the kids caught a turtle. And all kinds of stuff so now, they that, have a blast does that count a turtle it, well you know we, it it doesn't um because we measure <laughs> the biggest fish oh it's got to be that, a yeah fish. A yeah we weren't uh fish. we weren't expecting <laughs> a turtle to come in so yeah was it a snapper he was really excited though yeah i think it was a, a big one yeah it wasn't too big but mean. big enough i think the kid was like four so to him it was like the it's biggest huge. thing yeah and the snapper's <laughs> mean yeah yeah they are <laughs> mean, Joe. 
Yes. My son caught a little bitty fish three, four years ago, and he's like, I'm going to win the contest for the smallest fish. And then a turtle came and ate his fish. So he's like, I have no proof. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, darn his luck. Yeah. So you give out, I mean, all kinds of prizes throughout yeah. the day. So yep. it's a great uh, event, 9 to 12. And it's hours. all free. It's all free. That's, That's the key. The key right yeah. There. yeah. Uh, you go out, you fish for three hours, you can win prizes, and you get fed. Yep. I think and that's why a lot of people listen out to the show. Me. It's free. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know maybe. I mean? Is it free? Some of the listeners it is. Free. Yeah. That's the only reason they listen. <laughs> You're, are you a fisherman then? I've recently started fishing more because my son is a huge fisherman. So oh, yeah? Yeah. He really enjoys now, it. There's several kinds of different fishermen. What does he like to fish for? Because you got your, your catfish, you got your bass, your crappie. He uh, really enjoys fishing for bass, okay. um, but if he's not catching any bass, then he'll switch up to whatever happens to be biting. Okay. So. How you doing, Mr. Stacy? Oh, good. We're just putting you live on there. We'll talk to you oh, anytime. I'm fine. Are you? <laughs> good. Good. The main man's out here. The main man. So you got this coming up June second, nine yep. to twelve. Uh, now, what if? I mean, you have to bring your own pole? or do Bring you your own pole, but okay. I'll have the bait. What kind of bait? Just dewworms? Yeah. Yeah. Just tons you of worms. get all crazy. Yeah. I got a couple of buckets of catfish, you know, bait if you want to put sure, that Sure. I'll, I'll take it. Some stink bait. <laughs> Some stink bait. It stinks. The, uh, uh, go ahead. No, you go ahead. I was just... No, I was changing the subject, so you go ahead. I was getting ready, too. Oh, all right. So change, change it. it. You change it first. Swerve over to the next lane. Oh. So you have a golf outing as well. We'll I get do. to that. And I do. When is that? That's June fifteenth. Now that's um, it's on something. A Friday. It is. That's something that would be more your age group. Oh, <laughs> more adult. <laughs> Rather oriented. than the fishing derby well. that's four to fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> About thirty hey. years ago, I could have participated. <laughs> but uh, June fifteenth, fr- that is a Friday. Yep, at the uh, Elks. That, tell us a little bit more about that, as far as signing up, times, and all that. So you could go to our Lincoln Police Department Facebook page to sign up. You can contact me, uh, leave a message at the police department. I'll get you any information about the golf outing. Um, $300 a team, so $75 a person. That is your 18 holes at the Elks. Lunch before we tee off, and then dinner afterwards um, is catered in by Gazardos. So makes for a whole day, $75 that's, a person. That's a good pretty, deal. Yeah. You're going to have those hot dogs and brats going across over there? Yeah, every year. Oh, those that's are That's like the best yeah, it part. Is. Everybody, I have people that come out just for that and then leave. I'm like, you paid to golf. And they're like, eh, I just kind of wanted the lunch. <laughs> Like it's hey, delicious. Yeah, and yeah. That's, you know that, that it is a fundraiser, and golfing is just a, kind of the, the bonus to get people involved. But do you have people out there that just want to donate money and not really? Yeah, absolutely. Participate? We have people who donate. Um, if they have a business, they'll donate an item to be auctioned off. You know, after the dinner, we have a big auction. Donate all the, you know, take all, everything goes back to the Dare program. All that money stays local. It's my biggest fundraiser of the year. So. Um, I really look at other at businesses to kind of help me out and get things for the auction. But yeah, and I have um, a lot of people that don't want to donate an actual item, so they'll sponsor a hole, which is fine too. So, in all of that information, you can call the police department. If you can't, if I don't happen to be there, you can leave me a message or um, our secretary, Susie Pegram. She helps me out and uh, what's the what's you. the phone number it's not 911 it's not although that would <laughs> you'd get my attention if you called that but <laughs> i don't think that'd be a very good idea yeah, so, yeah I mean, don't call 911 and say we'd um, like to golf <laughs> uh, i need some information on the golf outing <laughs> uh, what's your emergency large orange drink <laughs> yeah <laughs> what's your emergency yeah. i'd really like to golf. I just really need a form right now i need to fill it out but what's the phone number that he can contact uh, 732-2151 okay and like I said, the Lincoln Police Department has a Facebook page. So, is there a deadline where you want to? So you kind of have an idea. Usually, the week before, I need to have uh, the teams in to the Elks to make sure we have enough carts. You know, make sure we have enough food for lunch and right. for dinner. So, and is it a four-man team, like a scramble? Yep. Okay. Four-man team, and from what everybody's telling me, I guess I have the cheapest golf outing around. But it works for me. I'm going to keep it at that price because. 
I get a you get more pretty interest. good. Yeah, you, you yeah, probably you really get, yeah get more people that can afford seventy five dollars and not a hundred and fifty dollars. Well, Joe, I mean you're on a different level, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm listening to you, but I can't hear you. <laughs> Last year, Joe donated uh, the koozies. There you go. All right, Joe. So, yeah. That Joe well, Ryan, I tell you what. Yeah, he's a great guy. He is a great you guy. You know what? When he, he shows up. Remind me to give you guys a couple of bucks after this. Oh, right. thank you. Yeah. Uh, I should use up. a couple of bucks, Joe. When he shows up. I show up all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so we got next Friday, or next, I'm sorry, next, next Saturday, Saturday, June 2nd, 9 to 12, a big fishing derby. Uh hickory lane campground i'm not sure where that's at google it okay <laughs> there you go that was a good it's, answer yeah you're right go it's google uh it. i don't have the address off the top of my head so it's in atlanta it is yeah it's um between atlanta beeson <laughs> on that blacktop yeah, okay he's on that phone constantly yeah. he'll find it okay. yeah <laughs> so you're does. you're familiar with google then uh, i got i got that i got that <laughs> okay app. all right cool <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're going to provide the bait I and am. food and... We just ask that people provide the kids. Provide the kids and provide the fun. Yeah. Uh, so that's a good deal. And giving away stuff there too. And then June 15th, uh, Friday at the Elks, a big golf outing. You're, you're yeah, busy. I am. This is like the busiest time of the year. So and we, don't we, speed by me because I may not have time to... to so if you're, on, if, if you're if Officer Frigier is on duty, you might get away with a speeding ticket. Or you might get more than one <laughs> ticket because you've taken up my time. That's exactly right. And time is money. <laughs> if you get out and run, you might have a better opportunity as well. No. <laughs> no. You've seen me run on the court. I, I know. I know. And I, I wanted to get to that real quick. We haven't talked to you since then. Uh, this was, when did we do that? Was that February or March? That was March, March. wasn't it? Yeah, it was March. And pretty big success, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I ended uh, up, good, uh, it was good. great. More than anything, um, the girls were so excited and their families to be able to come out and, you know, participate. I was shocked at how well the girl i mean they weren't nervous around any of they, us i thought they, they would were be, absolutely brutal yeah they were they were physical they well were, i knew it was going to get ugly when you guys were out there shooting free throws and they were untying your shoes and or tying them together yeah, there were some problems with how they were coached i think yeah <laughs> <laughs> there was a couple i, I was almost de pants luckily i have my shorts tied because <laughs> one of them came up and gave me a little tug i'm like you can't do that <laughs> Yeah, they were. Uh, me to jail. They were definitely in it. Yeah, to they win were it. in it, and they. Yeah, they. It was fun, and. Well, then the donuts. They brought vicious. out the donuts. And that was good. That was every cop, you know, of course, flocked to that. So yeah. the donuts are fun. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that was a slam. There were a few of us that ate donuts. That was a good yeah. time on the court. Yeah, I think there was he's a, he's a that, couple that were running up and down the that court. Guy right there, he's a multitasker. Yeah, that's yeah. talent. <laughs> that's talent. that is. But yeah, yeah it was great. We yeah, um, the Dare program raised about twelve hundred dollars for that event, and it was awesome. Yeah, it was. It I was mean, honestly, fun. it was my goal to break even because I just really wanted some interaction with you know some of the kids in town, and to be able to raise money on top of that was. So great. you you were in the in the black, not the red. Right. That's good. <laughs> well, let's that's and why we talk about the Dare, and that's why you're here. Tell us like what you're. Remind everyone what, what your goals are with the D.A.R.E. program. So with the D.A.R.E. program, um, it's it was revamped about five, six years ago. Basically, every I mean, when, when you guys were in school, you probably had D.A.R.E. and it was just say no. Everybody just say no. Not when I was there. <laughs> um, all the kids know now that they're supposed to say no to, you know, alcohol, tobacco. Strangers. Any sort of, yeah, stranger danger. Yes, stranger um, danger. So the program was revamped and now we're all about making good decisions. You know, when a situation, when you're confronted with a situation, make a good decision. And I go into even preschools and talk to kids about, you know, if your ball goes out into the road, you know, what do you do before you go out there? You look both ways or you have mom or dad go get it. So it all starts, we're trying to start at a really early age, build on everything as they get older and um, we go into all the schools every day at least walk through give kids high fives as we go by now when you say we the, are you talking about just the guys on yep, the police department everybody just, yep. just everybody gets involved yep. and goes. Um, with the funds that I raise I buy t-shirts pencils um, I mean I've even gone so far as I've had families approach me and say hey my son daughter would really like to play summer baseball but we can't afford 
any of this, do you think you could help out? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, give, because that's what it's for. We want these kids to make good decisions and playing sports and keeping busy is a better decision than right. running the streets in the middle of the night. And if they're, if they're out doing along. something, that's less time that they have to be out. Yeah, and I get it. A lot of these programs ruckus. are very expensive. Right, Lloyd? I understand. So, <laughs> you know. You all right? You need a break? All right. I got swallowed one of them gnats. <laughs> What? <laughs> Why, don't take, Why don't you take a walk? <clears throat> <laughs> okay, so, so staying along those lines with right. this, I uh, uh, maybe don't know anything about, or do you know anything? But what's uh, where where are we with the new complex? What's our what's our time frame? Whatever. It looks so it cool. looks like now they're pretty much just doing the little things here and there to get it wrapped up. We're waiting for our new furniture to come in. So I'm betting, um, hopefully, fingers crossed, like by the end of summer, we'll be in there. So it'll be nice. Oh, so absolutely. So we'll go from a, an office about the size of this tent to <laughs> a huge building. So. <laughs> oh yeah, really yeah. Nice. I think, it, and it's. I think it's a good location yeah. myself. I mean, you're not necessarily downtown, but you can kind of get anywhere very right. quickly. Right. Well, the fact is, um, you know, we're different than say the fire department. They're they are at their base waiting for a call. We're mobile. We're out sure. all the time. So there's generally someone that's close, to, you know, or somewhat close to a call. Now, is, this ju is that anyway. just a Lincoln Police Department yep. and Logan County will stay right. there? So the uh, Sheriff's Department and the the jail, are, uh, Logan Dispatch, all of that will still be at that <coughs> same building on Pekin Street. The new building will be just strictly be the Lincoln Police Department. Okay. You guys will have to come there for cheap seats. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Love to see it well, sometime. As long as we get you let us leave, we'll, we will. Eh, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Hotel California. We'll see how well you <laughs> act. That's a yeah. That's a huge fear of mine. People are some people are fear, fear of, of heights. And can you imagine being in jail overnight? Wait, when I don't have you? No. Oh. No. I think this sounds like a dare fundraiser. <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's a <laughs> no fundraiser. I will <laughs> freak out. No way. I just went to Alcatraz. I will and move. I was in shock at how small those cells were. Yeah. man. Alcatraz yeah. was tiny. Well, and they're um, even at the sheriff's department, their jail. They have <laughs> multiple cells, and they're small. But then they pack like twelve people in there. <laughs> man. God, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. Okay, so then my last question was, we we're going to throw your brother under the bus. Go ahead and brag a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. My brother, Jace Camp, graduated medical yeah. school last week. So we're very I proud of him. I didn't realize that was your brother. Yes. Oh, yes. yeah. I was at his wedding. I don't, I guess I didn't. Uh, I was there too. I know, yeah. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so were the Sheelys. Yeah. Your friend yeah. Brad, and he likes to talk to you about Manito. Yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Shabadoo. So what's his plan? You know, Brad, why don't you call in and talk to us? <laughs> no, you do not want him calling in. Jim, if he calls, deny. <laughs> yes, yeah, Saturday morning, last Saturday morning, Brad was at our house at like <laughs> six in the morning and spent the whole day sitting by a girl uh, cooking a whole hog. So, yeah, he Did you get him to leave? Barely. And at the end, I of, think at the end of the night, I bet leave. you he was like this. Because that dude will <laughs> fall asleep anywhere. Yeah, yeah. And, and surrounded by like 40 people. Oh, yeah. We were, uh, just quick story, Brad. Ha ha. Uh, <laughs> he is going to call in now. Uh, we always take a, a Cubs trip. Well, we did in the past. We would go down, we'd take uh, the train. And I think this particular year, we took a, rented a, like a uh, party bus and we go up to Wrigley to a game. And it's cold, you know, it's it's mid April. And, you know, we're there till about six inning. And, Sheely and a bunch of guys, they leave and go over to the Cubby Bear. It's too cold. We go over there, <clears throat> and there's hundreds and hundreds of people. You know, it's yeah, Wrigleyville, and he's in a, a booth just <laughs> zonked. <laughs> I, I would never remember. I will did never you roll on his face? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> was, there, was that a, the day of camera phones? I mean, did you get a picture? Because uh, you know we could put it on our Facebook page. I'm sure he'd like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Well, the rule was no phones, no pictures. There you go. So, That's a good rule. Yeah, <laughs> but now Sheely, you keep messing with me. I'm going to tell some stories. Yeah, so but my that's, brother that's Jace is married to Brad's daughter right, Hannah, yeah. and she's the pharmacist at Lincoln yeah, ER. Yeah. So, yeah, they're they're well, doing they're pretty. Yeah, they are. He's a good yeah. boy, you know, always has yeah. been. And then I remember yeah. when he told us, you know, way back in well, he high was school, a good football he was going to player. Yeah, he was. Yeah. He was an athlete. He said, I'm going to go be a doctor. And we were like, yeah, yeah, he was on the West Lincoln boys team that won state way back when. Well, good for him. Um, he always yeah, was kind of chiseled. He had that. Yeah, he, he still was, is. Yeah. He's now, still what's, his, uh, what's his expertise? He's he going into emergency medicine, and he will be <coughs> in Springfield um, at Memorial based out of 
in Memorial. So he'll be like in the ER or yep. like the emergency room. Yep. We'll have to get him on wow. here sometime and talk about things that we have no idea about. Oh, <laughs> Tell you us would. long words. and We can bring anybody <laughs> on here, Joe. I mean, it doesn't have to be a doctor. It could be somebody off the street so they could tell us something <laughs> we don't know. Yeah, you'll ask him a question and he'll explain it and, and then you leave and well, you're more yeah. confused. You've forgotten it by yeah. the time you get to the car. You're like, I don't, yeah, I don't even know what the question was. Well, now. Sounds <laughs> like, yeah, they, they've got her going on there, you know. <laughs> Set up their own little practice, you know. He's the yeah, doctor, and she's sure. the, the pill pusher. Yep. There you go. <laughs> there you go. That's probably not hey, the correct. Hey term. now, she's hold an on. Educated drug dealer. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> it's funny that you're in law enforcement. So right. uh, yeah. we'll see where this all yeah. works. It's like full circle. It is. <laughs> <laughs> well, stuff. Yeah, well, thank you for uh, stopping by with us today. Thanks for uh, having me. Anytime. Uh, you know, it's always a pleasure. And, you know, anytime we can help out the D.A.R.E. program, you know, we, uh, we're we more than willing to help out. So. Well, we'll keep that, uh, put you behind bars for a while. <laughs> no, you know what? That, what a great idea that yeah. is. Yeah. Th that will, thank that you for <laughs> bringing that up and volunteering <laughs> for that. That's that awesome. Will, I will I will skip town. So if we can get you in the jail, would you stay if Joe was tased? If he took the oh, okay. Hold on a minute. See? Yes. Not gonna, I will sacrifice I my not no. doing that. No. <laughs> that is not That is a deal. Joe, so you're the, willing to put this guy behind bars. So the tase is, night. is the tasing happens after he spent the night. No. No 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 no. no I have to have no, something no, no, to laugh no. about why I'm in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, wouldn't you have something, something to, to look forward on. to then? No. You know what I mean? That's happened to me before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you guys work out the details and let me know. Yeah, we'll get back to you on that. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for stopping by uh, once again next weekend, 9 to 12, uh, Hickory Lane Campground. And June 15th uh, at the Elks Golf Outing. Right. All right. Thanks so All much, right. guys. Yep. Thank you. Have a good day. Yep. Thank you, young lady. All right. Bye. All right. That's Officer Fruget with the D.A.R.E. program. Now she's back to work. So we're going to take a motion <laughs> break. We come back. That's good, Jim. <laughs> Stay tuned. You're in the cheap seats. 96.3 FM. You there. This is Tom McCarthy for the Philadelphia Phillies, and you're listening to Cheap Seats on WLCN 96.3 FM with Joe, Jake, and Shabadoo. Shabadoo! where the show really takes a turn here. Yes, this is where we step it up. You, you turn on some music like that, and you talk about Shabadoo, and all of a sudden, yep, things are going sudden, downhill. The sun is <laughs> shining. Shabba Shabadoo! It's a good day. Welcome back to the Cheap Seats on 96.3 FM. We are at Stacy's Family Pharmacy, located at 709 Woodlawn Road. Big day today, customer appreciation. Uh, Going to have some free gifts, some giveaways, some food. Uh, from now, well, I guess from 11 to 1 is when it's happening. Nothing really set up right now. Uh, got some in, uh, delicious cake. And, uh, um, uh, yeah, 11 to 1, 709 sudden. Woodlawn. You can phone them, 735-1972. Uh, you didn't say that with very much enthusiasm. What? Hey, uh, I'll tell you what, I haven't watched a, a baseball game in a week. Who's winning? Are the Phillies winning? In second place. They're in second place. They're winning and losing. Well, we'll talk about it after we talk to this young man right here. Uh, the man of the hour of the day. It's uh, Bruce Stacy. Good morning, Bruce. Good morning, Scott. How are we doing Joe, today? I'm doing fine. Good morning, Mr. Stacy. Another year of uh, customer appreciation. Another and year, yep. Got the tent set up. and 30 years. 30 years. Wow. That's a That's long a, time. That is a long time. It is. Yeah, it, nice job. How have you things got in that when you were fifteen? <laughs> how have things uh, changed from thirty years ago to present? Oh as far God. as oh. I know, technology and all that stuff. You probably have had uh, to change I'll, different systems and. Oh yeah, the computer technology has uh, increased and become more important. Uh, insurance involvement has gotten more and more rigorous. Uh, government regulations, exactly, yeah. things like that. But we still try to take care of the people. And now with Customer the uh, service, you say government regulations with the opioid uh, epidemic. You know, 
doctors you sub subscribe uh you know hydrocodone or vicodin like you know m and m's now it's all regulated where they're only allowed to do so much and as a pharmacist you guys have to probably monitor that as well yep. don't you yes we do we have to uh check a database to make sure people aren't uh, abusing things or going to multiple pharmacies or seeing multiple doctors so the government the government is trying to uh, curb that problem yeah too. well you used to be able to just you know your doctor would write on a piece of paper here's your script go get it are those days coming to an end like they're no I don't think they're coming to an end but more and more things are being done electronically uh, so it is and the, and the nurses used to call in the prescriptions over the phone. Now they hardly ever do that. I would say like less than 10% of the scripts are phoned in. They're all sent electronically, electronically. from their computer to ours. You know, pop and, up on the screen. and other pharmacies have access to that information. So if there's a red flag, you know, it's probably easier to, you know, see these days than where, you know, yeah. 20, 25 years ago, everything was written down and, you know, you couldn't really track that stuff. So got to be uh, a little, a little, a lot different, you know, these yep. days for you. So, but, but change is good for sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Is your uh, so what are like from thirty years ago to now? What are some of the like drugs that have came out that you saw that were just miracle drugs that just oh my changed goodness. lives? I'll bet you more than half of the the meds that we dispense today weren't around thirty years ago. Mm -hmm. they, the FDA approves things quicker. So things are on the market. Um, pharmaceutical companies come up with medications to to treat diseases that we really didn't even think about back then. So, and they're expensive. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's all that lab work, isn't it? All that. Uh, uh, no, I, I'll, I'll go on the air right now and say a lot of the cost is due to the insurance involvement. <laughs> okay. Yes. Well, there we go. And the middleman, the PBMs, yeah, pharmacy benefit managers, the PBMs. Yes. Nice. Well, yeah, they like probably those. don't have them in Canada. That's why their prescriptions are a lot cheaper. I'm not sure there. if they do or not, but it's, it's, but that's a, a nationwide problem. The PBM involvement. They're supposed to control costs, but they don't. So, if you had to tell us the top three drugs that go through their that you go through, well, what think, would they be? Probably uh, pain medications, different ones. And maybe some things for uh, acid reflux or heartburn. Oh, yeah, that's the worst one. And then uh, probably blood pressure medication. <laughs> Do you have uh, on the... So are you... If you're taking uh, a, a Prilosec, or it, well, Prilosec's over the counter now, isn't it? Or is yes. It still, but you're taking something like that. Do you know, are you... Are you masking that you're, you're still doing damage to your stomach, you're just not feeling it, or is it actually well, those are helping you? Those were designed not to be taken for long term, just maybe six to eight weeks at the most, but people have been taking them for years. There are other natural alternatives that you can use to get off of those things. Throw one like, at Like me. some digestive enzymes and probiotics, well, you can ease oh, yourself really? off of those. Because you do need acid in your stomach to help digest the food intakes that we have so by suppressing that acid it just causes more problems hmm. so what should a guy eat every day if he's gonna take care of that vegetables Fru fruits and vegetables fruits and vegetables, fruits, vegetables and water and so water bacon eggs and <laughs> toast in moderation well <laughs> eggs uh, they say aren't as bad as for you as they originally thought no, they no. change that all the time yeah, <laughs> it's according to if they want more money from a now, lobbyist they say well they're bad it, for you why is it that everything that tastes good is bad for you and everything yeah. that yeah. tastes like crap is good for Before, you that's that's a good <laughs> question <laughs> i mean we got we got to invent something joe that you know makes stuff Tastes better that uh, invent something and you'll be you. a millionaire. Just put yeah. sugar on anything; it'll well, taste that's better. That's not good for you. <laughs> Moderation. Yeah. Moderation. Right? Moderation. The have you been uh, at this location? You, you we've, been, we've been here for twenty years. I just say you were in a different location, and then really. we were d down the street, about two blocks yes. to the to the east, um, for ten years. That's what I thought. In that in that yeah. little building, it was only an eight hundred square foot building, and when our lease was up, we put this building up and bought both sides right yes, yes the, whole, the whole big thing where we have the tent and stuff right so you should I, I hope this is ours I, I hope the neighbor doesn't come over and say get out of here <laughs> well you've been doing it for a while now and they've tell you what it's it. yours today hey you give yeah, them a free right today yeah, give them a free pork chop yeah i'll give them a free pork chop sandwich and they'll they'll be happy well bruce you're a big bears fan 
Oh yeah, bears and cubs, bulls, everything. That's that's why I I'm love coming here. Fan. That's <laughs> why I love coming here. Oh, you know, yeah. I'm surrounded by a bunch of cardinal fans, buffoons, and you know, yeah. when I come here, I feel at home. You yeah. know, because we can actually talk sports. Our uh, uh, our cubs are kind of struggling. They just haven't found their. They, yeah, this they, year. They, you're right, and the bats. They're not going to find it for another hundred. The good thing is, uh, Joe, come back and talk to me in October, and we'll talk oh, about that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I we'll got set up another show. Now. I guess it's not where we're at right now, but it's it's where we're at in October. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's true. Uh, this time of year is always exciting for Bears fans. You have OTAs going on with the rookies coming in, some rookie mini camps. Uh, how do you feel the Bears did? Uh, they got a new I'm, coach. You know, I'm, I'm excited about their their new coach and their their coaching staff. Maybe they can. Uh, invigorate some of these players and and with Mitch Trubitsky got a year under his belt right. and that, that's some the way new playbooks you know, right. plays coming in I, I feel that uh, we have some talent there it just uh, John Fox had his old ways right and right. didn't want to open up a playbook or, or change and I feel with um, Matt Nagy coming on you know he's, he's gonna have a different perspective and you know a different playbook where you know they're gonna spread some stuff out and make some things happen I, I uh, heard one of the young players that are, is coming in I can't remember who it was but he wanted to come to the Bears just because of Matt Nagy he really liked him mm -hmm. so Maybe he can uh, convey that confidence to all the players yeah, and, and, and get them performing at a higher level than John Fox did. Right, you know, because you look through that lineup and there's some talent, and you just, it was just always the same old, yeah. same old, same old last year. And it just, you're just waiting for that breakout. And, you know, if you're going to put a rookie quarterback in there, you got to take the reins off and let him play. You know, sure. you're not go you're not expected to win nine, ten games, but get him out there and now they get him now they have experience. to make sure that they develop the players that he throws to. Right, and so. they got some good ones. Uh, the kid out of Memphis, uh, Miller, I guess they're real big on him, that okay. receiver. So I don't know, know about Kyle Long. Is he is he kind of over the hill now? No, he not really. He's, he's just, always hurt. He's always like. hurt. He's only probably what five, six years in, and. Uh, yeah. You know, he just seems like he's uh, having some health issues. If he can get around the corner and, you know, eliminate those injuries, I think we'll be all right. But uh, And wasn't there a receiver they got that was hurt right away? Was, was it White? Kevin White, he has, he's, this is his fourth year. He hasn't played yeah. but a couple games. Uh, so he's kind of... He's a big bust. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't, uh, they didn't uh, pick up his option. Uh, but he's still on the team, so they're probably, they're going to play him some, through some workouts and mm -hmm. see where he stands. Uh, but yeah, he's one of those guys that he was a high draft pick and just hasn't panned out. Here we are, almost almost the beginning of June. So what, two and a half more months, and we'll be talking about preseason games yeah. in August. Yeah, and, and you know what? That's turned into being a pretty tough division right now. It, it really has. I mean, oh, the, the NFC the, Central. Yeah. There's some good teams in it, or I will say, they. Oh, it, it's the it feels pretty even. I think anybody uh, can you win. You know what? You know what else we've learned, Vikings Joe? Tough always. The Arizona Cardinals have five years to get their Super Bowl team ready because in 2023. They're going to be the first it's team. It's in Arizona again, Lloyd. Here we go. I'm calling it right now. Calling it right Rosen now. Rosen will be ready. Here come the Big Red. First team to have a home Super Bowl. Yep. There we go. You guys can get on the wagon now. I can get you guys all Cardinal gear if you want. You let me know. Is it selling pretty cheap now? <laughs> Pardon? Is that Cardinal gear selling for pretty cheap right now? It's cheap. Well, it's going to be expensive. That's why we're going to get it now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but he's trying to decide what bandwagon he wants to jump on. He's thinking about I've Vegas. Told you. He's wanting to get on that Vegas bandwagon. Oh, I see. Where My Oakland. AFC team is going to be Raider Nation. And I love Tom Brady. You all know that. We I haven't hidden that from anyone. We, we He's only got a year or two left. I haven't hidden that. Yeah. Um, but, and it's Big Red, man. America's uh, team. America's team. <laughs> yeah. You just wait. So, here Bruce, what, uh, what do we got going on here today? I know you guys. Well, we uh, have customer appreciation like we do every year at the, the last weekend of May. I want to thank all our customers for letting us be in business for 30 years and take care of them. We have uh, pork chop sandwiches we're giving away as soon as Lee, uh, Charlie Lee from the Lincoln IGA gets here and, and we'll be cooking those. Our, our master chef Bob Cooper will be <laughs> manning the grills <laughs> like he has the go. last two Look or three years. Yeah. He's ready. And he's got his assistant with him I see. She looks like she's tired. She didn't look happy about it but will you be assisting today? 
And then, um, <laughs> <laughs> and then have people stop by, put their go into the store and have uh, have them put their name in the drawing box. We're giving away some uh, gas cards. I see gas is creeping up no, a little bit. Yeah, so, so we'll buy you a tank of gas for your vehicle if you want to go somewhere for this Memorial Day weekend. That's nice. good. We'll foot the bill. And then uh, th that's about it. That's about it. Well, well tell right. us about uh, your lovely wife and these boys. How they doing? Uh, my wife, Cindy, she's fine. She's inside taking care of the store like she always does. Take care of business. Yep. My, my yep. two boys are fine. One's down in the St. Louis area and another's down in southeast Georgia. So yep. and we got three three lovely granddaughters and we spoil the heck out of them. Yep. Heck yeah. And you have good boys. They're good boys. Yeah. yeah. Getting old now. How old are they? Uh... Well, I'm pretty old, so they're getting old, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to keep track. Put you on the spot there, didn't we, that, yeah. that number? I know. It's all right. I got the same problem. Yeah, Joe, you did. they're up well, there. Well, you had, you had both my boys when you were at the school. Mm -hmm. so, so they're probably so that, boys. So that means you're getting old, too, I say they're, they're, my they're boys. They're up I there like, in age. Is your picture still down there on uh, Woodlawn Road, it's, the before oh, and yeah. after? Yeah, oh, yeah. It's a little faded, but it's not. It's, <laughs> it needs updated. I think one, you were in eighth grade there on that one picture. <laughs> <laughs> And the other, you're all, your beard is all white. Everybody likes to make fun of you. You know what I mean? <laughs> We're, we got to come here more yeah, often, you know, Jim. Yep. Bruce is right on board with us. He's a Cub fan, a Bear fan. Tell you what, we could just make him a partner in the I, show. I, I'm with that. I'm down with that. At least he'll show up on time. <laughs> <laughs> I was here on time. Oh. <laughs> All right, Bruce. Well, thanks for okay. having us today. It's always a pleasure. Uh, you come back out and visit with the yeah, A team. They'll the be big out dogs here will right. be here till Jim, one. So they'll Jim and, Jim and Jeff number two. Yeah, huh? they'll be here till one. We're just warming everybody up. Have more of an intellectual conversation. <laughs> All right, everybody, with them. stop by the pharmacy and uh, have a free sandwich on us. All right, appreciate there it. There you go. That's Bruce Stacy, fam Stacy's Family Pharmacy, located at 709 Woodlawn Road here in Lincoln. Uh, we're gonna take a commercial break. We come back. We're going to talk some sports, Joe, so right. get, your, show. get your sports hat on. Stay tuned. You're in the cheap seats on 96.3 FM. I don't know where he gets this stuff at. I don't know. He, that, he's in techno. Where do you get this stuff at? Jim. He's just a music guru, is what he is. He's got it all. And <laughs> look at his. He just shakes his shoulders at, at us. Little like, innocent face, like hey, a puppy dog. That's what mm. I do. Yeah. Just, just throwing that out there at yeah. you guys a little bit. You know who that is, Jim? Uh, Martin Garrix. Uh, mm, okay. Why? Why did you even download that? <laughs> Remind me to never <laughs> get that. <laughs> Welcome back to the Cheap Seats on 96.3. We are at 709 Woodlawn, home of Stacy's Family Pharmacy, where they're having customer appreciation today, Joe. I'll tell you what, it's beautiful out here, isn't it? The tents are ready to go. They're going to get these chops ready to go, right? You can come on the air and talk or no? <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's a no. But I, it is going to heat up. It is. No? no? Now, are we getting rain today, tomorrow? I don't think more? so. Huh? Oh, all right. So, yes. Well, you know, it, it's going to heat up. Hey, uh, uh, Joe, I want to give a shout-out there to a for, former Railer uh, alum, Austin Cruz. Yeah, how about Cruz? He uh, is an officer in the U.S. Navy. That's a big deal. That though. is a big deal. A uh, big deal. An officer, not just, uh, what do they call Navy people? SEALs. <laughs> That's a division of it, but uh, yeah. We're having Austin on when An he's officer back. officer in the Navy, Austin Cruz, a uh, very intelligent kid. Uh, so congrats to him. You know, we had him in four years of football, and what, a, and he's a good kid. Yeah, yeah. I've known kid. that kid for a long yep. time, and uh, he, he is one of the nicest kids you'll ever meet. Yep. And for him to have success like that, nobody deserves it more than him. Yep. So congratulations, him. Austin Cruz. And uh, maybe we can get him on sometime he's back. You know, he'll... He'll pop back in Lincoln every now and then and oh, swing yeah. by the house. And I, I saw him not too long ago. I didn't think about it. He was back for something. I didn't think about yeah. getting him on the show. But well, imagine, he's big time that. now. Yeah, he's a big deal. He may not want to yeah. be on our so show. Or we may have to pay him. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, youth football sign-ups are going to be starting June 1st. Uh, so I think you can pick up a form at Grouse Chevrolet. Sign up. Uh, go to the website. I know they're posting stuff on uh, We Are Railer Nation, so get on there. As well as some football camps going on. So... Football season right around the corner, Joseph. 
Yeah, it's uh, I you know in June you, most teams start their two or three day camps getting oh, ready yeah. to go. Yep. So yeah, it's, and uh, it's hot. And uh, graduations have been going on. Kids are graduated, and uh, summer is upon us. I think we went from winter to summer. No spring. Yeah, overnight. I mean, just a few weeks ago it was snowing. You know, back at Easter. Yeah, it's, a, it's mean, crazy. Yeah, and now it's uh, 95 degrees, so uh, no, just, no spring for us. I love the fall. You well, it, that's the ways of I know. We're in but when you, you know, by, just think, man, we got this June and July and August, and then, you know, even into September, I'm, I love it when that fall kicks in. And I, you know, I love summer. Yeah. Wow. And I hate winter. I don't And I winter. know just... Uh, few weeks ago we were complaining about the weather how cold it is and now I'll take this any day of the week yeah well you know I what? like 75 yeah. degrees you know well sunny. yeah you know but that's from your lifeguard days I mean yeah. I know how much you like to lay around how about at the pool do you ever just like put on a bright orange little swimsuit and go out and act like your lifeguard twist bright, the whistle bright orange well yeah they gotta be able to see you and they wore on Baywatch the red red all right I mean, whatever. Yeah. I mean, you it's wear right. what, you wear what you want. But. I got some new swim trunks coming. Do you? Yeah. Oh, I, I just ordered. Wait till you see them. We got probably them. got some Arizona Cardinal. No, no, I went a different direction. Cardinals. Oh, some oh, oh uh, some guitars? fifty-one fifty ones. Oh, really? Yeah, they're cool. All right. you, wait, you wait till you I see them. I can't wait to see them, Joe. I might wear them next show. All right, I'm looking ne forward next to that. Saturday. Uh, next weekend, we got pigs and swigs rolling into town as well, Joe. A busy weekend next week. Next weekend's you know, fun downtown. It's well, not only downtown. I mean, we got a, the fishing derby over in yes. Atlanta, and then down. Are we going to be downtown? We're at the Hampton. That's the other side of town. What the hell happened there? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Now he wants to schedule places we'll be. <laughs> Put him in charge of it. All right. Well, we'll be at the Hampton next weekend, and that's not even close to downtown, but hey. But anyway, Lincoln, uh, the pigs and swigs are in town, and uh, barbecue. It'll be a good time down there. They got dock dogs coming, uh, so that'd be pretty fun. I've just seen a little highlight clip, but it looks pretty interesting. Yeah, are you going to enter your dog in it? No, I, he, he's not ready for he's that. He's still drowning. training. He's in training. Yeah, is he? Yeah. We'll have next year. He'll Jim, you going to have your dogs out the dock dogs and have them mm -hmm. run and jump <laughs> in space? No. <laughs> I just want to go home. <laughs> I don't want to be here right now. <laughs> We're at the Hampton. And I tell you what we could do. What could we do? We could have Lloyd run and see how far out he could get and dive into the water. I like that idea. And you know, you get Lloyd, he'll he'll do just about anything. We could put him in that uh, McGruff outfit. Oh, and that, have him run yes. and dive in that water. That's getting even better, Tell Joe. You what, we'll work on that. Maybe you'll see that next weekend downtown. That is a Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> he could do it out there. Yeah, yeah, we'll have our own dock dogs. That's a great idea. It would be Lloyd. We'll see Featuring next Saturday, Lloyd. Lloyd. You're having a meeting. We well, are having a meeting, though. Yeah, this thing's going to the next level. We are. <laughs> we have been in discussion. There will be a new website being worked on here shortly. Oh, uh, our so listeners are going crazy now. It's going to be good. I mean, we're going to be big time. I want to tell you something funny. Uh, <laughs> it, it may not be as funny to our listeners unless they pay attention, but it's funny to us. Went to... Uh, cruising through that Walmart parking lot was trying to pull out last week and some guy out of blue sky pulls over and he goes hey uh, could you help me a minute and I said sure and he goes can you tell me how to get to uh, Manitou and I, <laughs> hey, hey I'm serious I looked at him and was looking inside the car to see if one of you guys were in there and <laughs> is Brad like, Sheely in the back seat where do you need to go and I'm looking at him and he goes I'm trying to get to Manitou but I've been looking at this thing on my phone and it he got me all turned around, and I'm well, telling you, I'm looking around. First looking of all, he's people. pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. And and I, he said, Manito. Hey, are I you sure you don't mean Manito? I said that to him. I said, are you looking for Manito? And he kind of looked at me, and he goes, I think it's Manito, isn't it? <laughs> no. Hey, I didn't give him any directions or anything. I thought it was a complete joke. <laughs> I thought you guys were around the corner. That is funny. Some funny yeah, stuff. Dom I moi. think he left looking at me like I was some weirdo, because I kept questioning him on where he was trying to get. Well, he didn't pronounce it right for once. <laughs> That's funny stuff. Manito. Manito. Foreman Braves. 
Uh, Foreman Braves. Foreman Braves. I, I don't know what that means. Oh. It used to be the Foreman Braves. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah. See, we don't know those I didn't things. No, they had a high school. You went there? No. No. I know this stuff. Oh. He well, knows we, a lot of stuff. We don't know anything. <laughs> and we don't even know how to spell or pronounce Manito. We know where Manito is. It's Manito. <laughs> we, I know that now. Uh, we should just replay that clip sometime. <laughs> we do all the time. Jim. No, where you said all seven of them, like right in a row. Manito, Manito, Manito. That's funny stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's freaking hilarious. Uh, that's good. Yeah, that's great. But, hey, uh, we've all done it. I know. And you know what? That I've, just happens to be one of the funnier ones. I've got thick skin. You want, <laughs> you want you to make do. fun of me? <laughs> Go ahead. There's nothing you can say that hasn't been already said. <laughs> that's why this is so much fun. Uh, did you watch any basketball last night? Uh, Cleveland, Boston? No, but did Cleveland win? Yeah. Yeah. Come back and get them, King James. They're tied up at three games. So yeah. Going back to Boston. Uh, King James, man, he's a flopper. He, he gets away with it. He and is you know what? Such a flopper. He does it all the he's time. He's so dramatic. That dude should win an Emmy. And the other thing is, the officials let him get away with it when really no one could push him anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> No one's going to knock him away down. With so much pushing, and if you even touch him, he's got to go to the ER. And then five minutes later, he's fine. <laughs> like, come on. Uh, That's why, you know, you don't see that back in the day. The NBA gets more and more like the WWF. It's exact. Thank you. That's a good point right there. It's funny stuff. That's why I don't watch it. I don't watch it, but I like King James. <laughs> but apparently, funny. I did watch it last night. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't even know what the heck I was thinking. Well, you probably weren't. Well, the, the the family they love the NBA, and I thought really I'd have spent a little time with them watching the NBA, and I just ugh, ugh. I'm with you on that. Don't like it. Ten uh, o'clock. Yeah, it is ten o'clock. That means that's time for us to go. Uh, but stay tuned because Jim and Jeff Number Two and Lisa the Fix Ninety Six Prize Girl they're going to be here eleven to one. Uh, Woo! When everything gets going. 11 to 1, we'll be gone. Uh, but that's fine. There you go. Uh, next week, we're going to be at the Hampton Inn. So tune in. Come out and watch Lloyd jump in the pool in a McGruff outfit. Yeah. Uh, I'd like <laughs> to thank all of our sponsors. Uh, the Cheap Seats, it's been a product of WLCN Sports. How do you like that, Lloyd? Wow. Yeah. You like that? You even spelled WLCN right. Did I? Yeah. I said it right. I didn't spell anything. Or now I'm second guessing myself. <laughs> All right. That's going to do it for us. We will talk to you next week from the Hampton Inn. Good day.